Hey there everyone, Rajat here. So in today's video, we are going to learn about variable hosting and function hosting in JavaScript in detail because these are the fundamental concepts of JavaScript programming language and not understanding these concepts properly can actually cost you a job interview. So it's really important for you as a JavaScript programmer to know what these variable hosting and function hostings are and what actually happens. So here is a immediately invoked function expression which means that we have defined a function over here and then we have immediately executed that. Okay, So we are going to study how JavaScript will actually parse and then execute this thing and that will give you a fair clarity about how function hosting and variable hosting actually work. So this is a function. Okay, So we have got two statements inside the body of this function. So this function is going to be defined and then immediately executed. Okay, The reason I have created this IIFE is to you know segregate the entire case study into one function. So we will not care about what lies outside the scope of this function. So that will allow us to look at things with better clarity okay so we have got these two statements over here so let's see what happens actually when javascript actually runs your program okay the fundamental to understanding variable and function hosting is to understand that in javascript any program executes in two phases so the first phase is the compilation phase or you can say it has two passes so the first pass would be the compilation pass where the compiler discovers all the variables and functions that have been defined and put it on the local stack of the function. In phase 2 or pass 2, it actually executes the remaining code as per the local variables. So let's start with our pass 1 or phase 1 that is the compilation process and let's see what actually is happening. So the very first statement is this console.log a and here is our functions, this functions local stack. Okay, So this is an expression and it cannot be you know computed during the compilation phase. So we move on to the next line that is this variable declaration of a. So what actually happens in this line is that a variable a is going to be put on the local stack of this function but its value it is still not defined so the function knows that it has a variable named a but its value is, is still unknown since there are no more statements left to process in this function our compilation phase will end so the next pass will begin after that and that is the execution phase okay so what actually happens now we are again back to the line one of our function so here is console.log and it is printing the value of a and if we go over to our functions local stack we can say that a has been defined but it has got no value at this particular point so it is going to return the output of undefined because it does not yet contain the value of 23 that will only happen when this statement will get executed and if you look at the hierarchy of this statement this is below this console.log statement so 23 is the value that is going to be initialized when this line will execute and as of now this variable a has no value hence the output of undefined so that is variable hosting for you so if you really want console.log a to output 23 you have to put this statement over this console.log a and then again we will move on to the next line that is the variable assignment and that is a is going to receive the value of 23 it will receive the value of 23 but the console.log state has passed so by this time a will get the value of 23 but after that this function gets over and we will never get to see that 23. 
okay so that was one case study okay let's move on to the another case study so in this is case study we learned about variable hoisting okay now let's have a look at this particular function okay so again an iife has been defined and executed okay then we have got this function declaration over here and let's see how javascript actually process and executes our code in this case okay so the very first phase is going to be again the compilation phase so the first statement is console.log a and the call to function a okay this is a statement it won't be processed in compilation phase so we will move on to the function declaration part okay so a function a has been declared in this line so what will happen is that a variable will be put on the local stack of your outer function okay and also the definition of that function that is the body of this function will also be associated with that variable so you can say that in this case it is going to remember that a is a kind of a function and it has got this particular function body okay then in the next phase since there are no statement the compilation phase will get over the second pass would be the execution phase okay so let's see what happens again we are back to this console.log a statement okay so this will actually invoke a and a function will be called and if we go over to our local stack the compiler can actually find that a has been defined here okay and it has got the body of this thing so what happens is again for this function it is going to follow its route of two pass compilation and execution okay so again it will go inside the body of this function a and execute its compilation phase since there is no variable declaration or function declaration it will just return and then will begin the execution phase so in execution phase it will find this statement return one so here is the call stack of our inner function and this is a call stack of our outer function okay so on the call stack of our inner function nothing will be put because there is no variable or function declaration over here nothing was discovered during the compilation phase and during the execution phase this statement will be processed and this will return a okay so once this happens this function a will be over so its local stack will be destroyed and we will get one as an answer in our console.log statement and as you can see we can no longer see the local stack of this function because it has been destroyed okay so the only stack that is remaining as of now is the stack of this outer function so we have got our answer in this bracket so console.log1 will print 1 and then again it will move on to the next line this is function declaration again and since there is nothing after this function declaration the program will end so the output will be one in this case now here is an interesting gotcha that can result from our understanding up till this point so if you have a look at the function at the left side and you should really take a note of the functions in bold okay so here is var a equals to function and return one so this is known as function expression and if we have a look at the right side here we can see function a and return one both of these can look the same but they work very differently this kind of declaration is known as function declaration as you can see here and this kind of declaration is actually known as function expression so in in this case the compiler will actually process this thing as the variable hoisting thing so in this case it is going to result in an error because after the compilation phase a local variable a will be 
defined but it would have no value because this is following the route of variable hoisting and by the time it gets called in the execution phase it would be having no definition or no types attached to it so this statement will throw an error stating that a is not a function on the other hand this is the typical case of functional declaration which we have seen like a few moments ago so a variable will again be defined and that variable will be allotted a type of function and the function's body will be associated so when in phase 2 that is the execution phase uh, this thing gets called it will find the definition along with the declaration of this function and it will get executed okay so that is a fundamental difference between these two and an interviewer can really frame very innovative questions around that so you re really have to be very sure about what the differences are okay so that is all about variable and function hoisting now i would like to you know show you a really great tricky questions which i discovered so here is this thing so can you actually predict what will be the outcome of uh, this whole code now you can consider that all of this code is surrounded by an IIFE and it gets executed immediately but can you guess what will be the outcome of this program although the outcome is mentioned over here but I really want you to try your level best uh, in order to understand what actually is happening okay so just pause this video here think for a moment like what is happening and what will be the output and can you logically reach to the conclusion based on whatever we have learned about variable hoisting and function hoisting in this video so let's start from the very beginning so here is the statement var a equals to 1 so a will be put on the local stack of the outer function let's suppose this entire code is wrapped inside a function okay so in that function's local stack variable a would be defined but at this point of time it would not be having any value of 1 then again we move on to the next line and that is where we encounter the declaration of function b then again b would be put onto the local stack of that outer function along with its body but nothing will get processed as of now so the body will be treated as a lambda it would not be executed at this point then we move on to this call to b and then alert to a so both of these are actually expressions so they would not be evaluated during the compilation phase next begins the execution phase okay so again this is variable declaration and initialization so it will try to find whether a has been defined and of course it has been so it will assign the value of 1 to that variable okay then it will move on to this function declaration it will just you know ignore this statement because this has already been processed then it will move over to this b's call okay then the two phase compilation and execution of this function b will begin okay so let's start with the compilation phase of this function b what is happening so a equals to 10 so this is a statement it would not be processed because this is not a declaration of any function or a variable this will also be ignored then will come this statement so now here we are actually defining a function with the name a so it will be put onto the local stack of this function b and it will also be having a pointer to the code of this function a okay then the compilation phase of this function b will end then we will start with the execution phase then again we will encounter a equals to 10 over here so what this line will do is that it is going to wipe out the this function declaration and it is going to initialize the already declared variable a with the value 10 and after this statement this statement will get processed that is a return statement and since it is returning nothing 
this will you know just return nothing and this will be over with so the call list x of this function b will be de uh, destroyed and we will get nothing over here then this line will be processed okay so alert of a so what is the value of a a of the outer function is still 1 so 1 will be popped in a browser pop-up okay so you will get to see a pop-up containing the value 1 so that is the logical explanation to what is actually happening in this thing so this function b and call to b is just noise but you can only reach to that conclusion you can only figure that thing out when you are very clear about variable and function hoisting so i hope i was able to make you understand what these two terms are and how you can actually address quite a lot of those tricky questions and gotchas that you may encounter during any javascript interview in case you have more queries about these issues or in case you want to know more about such interview questions make sure to leave a comment on this video if you like this video do not shy away from giving this video a thumbs up and in case you are new here we talk about software development and other things related to software industry and all on this channel on weekly basis so you might want to subscribe in case you are interested in any of those issues and any of those things so this is your guy Rajas Saxena signing off take care bye bye and I'll see you around